Hello everyone, I am Varun Narora, a software engineer in Control Design Automation team. In this session, we will discuss about pitch control of a wind turbine using Simscape products. The challenges faced while working on a complex model are how to model a system level model and once the model is ready, how you are going to test a system level model. You can see the model of the wind turbine here. The supervisory control controls the mode of operation of the wind turbine. Turbine pitch controller controls the pitch angle of the rotor hub blades. MPPT derating with limiter control controls the torque loading provided by generator to the wind turbine. The wind turbine subsystem models the rotor hub and the nacelle of the wind turbine. The rotor hub uses a custom SSC code and Simscape component. The nacelle models the hydraulic brakes gear train and lump generator part. The grid and transformer subsystem models the parasitic conductance, transformer and grid for wind turbine simulation. The supervisory control of the wind turbine defines the mode of operation of the wind turbine. The mode transition takes place based on the wind speed and the rotor rotation speed. In the path brake mode, turbine hydraulic brakes are applied to the rotor hub. Once the conditions become suitable, the hydraulic brakes are released and turbine enters the startup mode. In startup mode, turbine accelerates up to the cutting speed. Once it reaches the cutting speed, turbine enters the generating mode in which generator is connected with the grid and electricity production starts. If the condition becomes unsuitable for power production or hazardous, turbine enters the pitch brake mode in which aerodynamic brakes are applied to the blade of the rotor hub. In the pitch brake mode, once the turbine speeds reduce up to the path speed, turbine enters the path brake mode where the hydraulic brakes are engaged with the rotor hub. The turbine pitch controller decides the angle of the rotor hub blades based on the turbine state received from the supervisory control. If the turbine is in pitch brake or path brake mode, the angle is pitched to the maximum possible pitch angle. If the turbine is in startup mode, the angle is pitched to the minimum possible pitch angle. If the turbine is in power generation mode, the angle is decided by whether the turbine is in derating condition or whether it should be in MPPT condition. The power controller of the wind turbine decides whether the turbine should be in MPPT control mode or it should be in derating control mode. Based on which, it decides the reference rotation speed of the wind turbine and the active power demand, which is fed to the turbine generator based on which generator decides how much torque load should be applied on the rotor hub of the wind turbine. When the plot command is executed, this plot is created. Top plot shows the state transitions, the commands given by the supervisory control. Bottom plot shows the normalized physical quantities such as pitch angle, generator power, wind speed and the turbine rotation speed. Turbine stays in park brake mode for initial 0.1 second. Once Wind speed goes above the cut-in wind speed, rotor starts to accelerate, it goes up to cut-in rotation speed and then generation mode gets active, generator gets connected with the grid power generation starts. When the wind turbine rotation speed or the wind speed goes above the cutout speed, turbine enters the pitch brake mode, pitch angle increases up to its maximum value and turbine decelerates up to park brake speed. Once it hits park brake speed, park brake mode gets active and hydraulic brakes are applied to the rotor and rotor comes to halt. In this demonstration, you have seen how a multi-domain model of a wind turbine with its controller can be created, how the controller design can be verified whether it's behaving as per expectations. This example demonstrates how a complex model can be created utilizing MATLAB, Stateflow, Simulink, Simscape, Simscape Driveline and Simscape Electrical working together. Thank you for watching this video.